Hey guys, so I just wanted to come on and give you like a quick rundown of what I was going to be reading in the month of September. I don't know if everybody does this or not, or if I'm even supposed to do it, but I'm going to. So um, in a previous video, I asked what do H.G. Wells, Stephen King, and Truman Capote all have in common? Remember that question for the end of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to be reading this month. There are actually two that are on my... Um, on my Nook, so I won't be able to show you those. It just doesn't show up very well on camera at all. So the first one is F. Scott Fitzgerald's um, The Great Gatsby. The other one is D. H. Lawrence's Lady Chatterley's Lover. Those two are on my Nook, so those are what I'm going to be reading this month. Um, also, I showed these books, two of these books, in my previous haul video. It's H. G. Wells' The Time Machine. I'm going to be reading that this month. James and the Giant Peach. I feel like I've mentioned this book a lot, but it was one of my favorites. I'm going to go ahead and read it, and it just happens to fit in this month's theme. And then I'm also going to be rereading um, Stephen King's Gerald's Game. And so, yeah, those are the five books I'm going to be reading this month. I'm going to try to do um, like a review at the end of the week of each book that I've read. So, yeah, that's what I have going on. And the thing that these, all these authors have in common, actually I'm not going to tell you yet, what I want you to do is leave it in the comments below if you figure it out. If you don't, that's okay. I'm sure I'll tell you it sometime. It won't be a mystery forever. I absolutely hate that though. Don't you like when a show ends on a cliffhanger or if a book ends on a cliffhanger and you're like, well, what happened? And then the series ends and you never get to find out. That drives me absolutely nuts. Completely and totally insane. So I will tell you, but um, I just thought it would be more fun to see if you all could figure it out. So, yeah, if you all know what it is, let me know in the comments below, like I said. Um, I think that's really all I wanted to come on here and talk about was just the books that I was going to be reading. Uh, is that all? I think so. That was short and sweet, wasn't it? Oh, I wanted to say thank you for everybody who has been leaving me comments on, like, the camera quality and stuff. It's something that I've been stressing about. I've got a lot of really good tips, and I'm going to be working on that. But, um, yeah, I think this is the camera that I'm going to be using. I might upgrade a little bit later on. I just don't want to spend a thousand bucks on a camera or something insane like that. So um, thank all of you all. I thank all of you all for giving me tips and things like that on what to do and how to make it better. Also, thank you everybody for being so welcoming. Um, I can't believe I have subscribers already. That's really, really cool to me. So thank you all for subscribing. Um, I've been having a lot of fun. I know I've posted a lot of videos just in a short amount of time. I think this is like my sixth video. Um, but I'm just excited. I really love the booktube community, and you all have been so nice to me, and everybody's been leaving nice comments and things like that. So I really appreciate it, guys. So thanks a lot, and I will be back in a few days for a word of the day. I think Bunny and Kate said something about Wordy Wednesday, which I really like. I might see if I can use that from now on, if it's okay with her. And um, what else? Oh, and a review at the end of the week. So yeah, those are two things that will be coming up. So see you guys later. Bye.